all began when he was a young man in South Africa. He noticed the clarity of the stars when they were up in the mountains away from all human habitation. That the stars were so much brighter, the images were so much sharper. And when he came to Edinburgh, Edinburgh is not in, the, in a very good climate, but on top of that, the city of Edinburgh in those days was extremely smoky. The name of the city, the popular name with people was Old Reeky. That means the old smoky. The sky was particularly bad. The observatory he had on the Calton Hill, it was almost impossible to see the stars. He could only see the brightest ones. He had the greatest difficulty carrying out his programs of work there. And he immediately realised that the answer to that is to put your telescope in a decent climate. And he thought that Tenerife would be a very good place because it was high. And his idea was proved to himself that it was an exceptionally good place for observing. There wasn't enough money. He would have needed some financial support uh, to take his telescope to Tenerife. But unfortunately, he was very badly supported in Edinburgh. And so Piazza Smythe had to fall back on his own finances. But he did get a grant from the Royal Society to go to Tenerife to do his experiments and, and he got a grant of 400 pounds. That wasn't enough to cover all his expenses. His wife went with him as his assistant, unpaid of course. She was a very uh, cultured lady, a very well educated, though she was educated at home because in those days uh, there were no schools for girls. And she, was, she married him on Christmas Eve, a few months before they went to Tenerife. So you could say that Tenerife was their honeymoon trip. And his friend Stevenson, George Stevenson, lent him a yacht and the crew of the yacht. That's that's his camera. That's what this says. The um, ten camera employed at the Great Pyramid. That's right. This one. Now he invented that camera himself. They were all small instruments and spectroscopes that he made himself or bought himself out of his own pocket. The photographic apparatus he had with him on Tenerife was commercial. He bought, I think, the cameras for that trip. But when he went later to Egypt, it was his own homemade cameras that he used there. And of course, he was um, really the pioneer in stereoscopic um, photography. Yes, yes. The ones on Tenerife are stereoscopic. And the book uh, that he wrote on Tenerife, which is illustrated by stereoscopic pictures, apparently that was the first book ever uh, which was illustrated by stereoscopic pictures. And in order to appreciate them, you had to buy a stereoscope. It went with the book. And so the pictures come up in three dimensions 